Hello and welcome to the first lab episode of your channel, AWS Cloud Bytes. I'm your host Bhavesh Kumar. If you like these videos, please like, share, subscribe and click the notification bell icon for future updates. Your comments are welcome for making these interactions better. We are going to do a lab on creating a static website using Amazon S3. So the topic of this particular presentation is how to create a static website using Amazon S3. This is a capability demonstration and not an architecture advice. I will recommend to use CloudFront distribution to serve a static website hosted on Amazon S3. The things that we are going to cover is how to create a S3 bucket, uploading a static website on the S3 bucket, enabling static web hosting, and then applying a bucket policy to make it available publicly. So let's begin. I have logged into AWS console and this is the home page of AWS management console. I have recently visited widget over here showing S3, but we can also search using this search bar. It will show you S3 as a service over here. You click on that. It loads the initial S3 page because there is no bucket available on my S3. I'm going to create a bucket and going to name it as my bucket and going to have the same region i don't need to change the ownership the second point that we have to keep in mind while creating a bucket for public access is that we have to remove this block all public access which will uncheck these four sub items which blocks the public access of an object in S3. Once you remove that, there will be an acknowledgement required which says that I acknowledge that I am making this bucket publicly available and all the objects under this bucket can be publicly available. We don't need bucket versioning, we don't need tags, we don't need encryption or any other advanced setting. I'm going to create bucket. Now the bucket is created. There is one bucket showing up in my bucket list. And you can see access of object in this bucket can be public. I will go to this bucket. Currently, the bucket doesn't have any object. Let me upload a couple of files in this bucket. I have two files, error.html and index.html. These two files are just depicting a main page as well as an error page. The destination is S3 bucket. I'm going to upload this. And you can see once it is uploaded, these two files are available on the bucket, successfully uploaded. I'll close this window. You can see two files showing up. Then you have to go to the properties and go towards the end where you will see static website hosting. You can see it is disabled. We need to enable static website hosting. So I'll edit this. Once edited, enable this setting. We are hosting as a static website and it is going to ask for a couple of page names. We have index.html and error.html, which is optional, but this will be rendered in case there is a routing error. We'll save this change. Now your bucket, if you go back to static web hosting, you'll see there is a URL if you click on that, oh, it gave you a 403 forbidden. What is the reason for that? The reason for that is that you created a bucket, you uploaded file in the bucket, you made it a static website hosting, enabled over here, but you forgot to add the permissions. So you have to go to the permissions tab and edit the bucket policy I'm going to copy a bucket policy. You can even generate a bucket policy. So 
all this is auto generated the only thing that you need to keep in mind is that there is an effect of allow there is a principle which means star here means anyone action is s3 get object which means get object can be executed on s3 service and the resource name is the arn slash star i'll copy the arn of my bucket and run this by resource you have the arn and then you have slash star slash star or asterisk whatever you say means anything under this bucket will be publicly available and will be rendered when requested from the browser we can save these changes once the changes are saved you can see the bucket shows publicly available or accessible you can see the access is public block all public access is off and then you have the same bucket policy now you can go back to your forbidden page or you can go to the properties and this url again anyway either ways it works it shows you that this is a static website hosted on s3 now if i try to load something like uh, apple which is not available on this page this website has nothing called apple or apple.html or any script like that or any route like that it will throw an exception and load the error page in this case this is error.html that was loaded if i go back to index.html which is our main page for this website it will load the same this is a static website hosted on s3 once you're done with this you can go back to your bucket this is the end of this lab and you can actually go and delete all these files you'll have to type permanently delete you'll have to delete every file in the bucket before you can actually go and delete the bucket so you go to the bucket and select the bucket now and you can you can either use empty I have used delete individually to empty the bucket but once it is deleted you can go back here and this is an empty bucket you can go and delete the bucket this is the end of this lab thank you for watching stay tuned this is the end of the episode thank you for watching if you like the video please like share subscribe and click the notification bell icon for future updates this is your host Bhavesh Kumar signing off. Thank you.